Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Got a story for you out of CNBC. It's entitled, Fed's Bullard says rate hikes have had only limited effects on inflation so far. I wanna make this very clear. They are not gonna stop raising rates. They want you in the hurt locker. They're gonna put you there. They're already telling you the narrative ahead of time. And that has to do with oil and all kinds of things they're gonna to do to raise, raise prices to where you are in pain and needing their assistance. And then they're gonna shove a digital currency down your throat. All right, here we go, some key points. St. Louis. <laughs> Fed President James Bullard noted that the policy rate is not yet in a zone that may be considered sufficiently uh, restrictive. Now, there's been so many people all over the world waiting and waiting for the Fed to pivot so that they can enjoy what they've enjoyed for the last 20 years, and that is a low interest rate environment, which is super easy to stimulate the economy, causes the stock market to rally, causes asset prices like real estate to explode because of rampant speculation. All right, that is what they want. It's literally akin to monetary heroin. Think about that. And when the heroin, the drug is taken away, the body crashes, and that is what is happening in the markets right now. And the Fed knows it, and they actually want it. They are not here to help you. They're here to control you. I'm not joking. Another point, using the so-called Taylor rule for monetary policy, Bullard suggested that the proper zone for the Fed funds rate could be in the 5 to 7% range, higher than current market pricing and unofficial Fed forecasts indicate. Now, the Economic Ninja has been telling you literally for months that you are going to see a Fed funds rate over 5%, even though the uh, Fed funds, uh, you know, their calculations, they're looking at between four and five, that is them softening the blow so that you mentally don't go crazy if you figure out the game. That is the point. There's always gonna be the goal point posts are gonna be pushed out farther if they haven't put you in the hurt locker enough. All right, this is very, very serious. This is going to attack your pension fund. This is gonna attack your uh, your home prices, your values, everything, because everyone is about to stop spending, and they already are, and that's proven because Amazon has come out saying we're laying people off before the holiday season. FedEx laying off people before the holiday season. Why? People have stopped spending. It's not just the real estate market, and it's gonna flow from the real estate market into consumer spending, which it already has, and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. And what's gonna happen is real core in, uh, f items like food and fuel are going to explode, including electricity. Now it says right here, um, and this is a quote from Bullard, thus far the change in monetary policy stance appears to have had only limited effects on observed inflation, but market pricing suggests disinflation is expected in 2023. Now that's a direct quote from Bullard. That means that you, what you have seen so far, you haven't seen anything yet. Sure, there's a stalling in the sales of real estate. Sure, uh, car prices are starting to come off their highs a little bit, but you haven't seen anything yet. The reason why is because of a time lag and that a psychological effect that needs to take place in human beings' minds that, oh wait, this isn't going away and it's getting worse. And then they start to panic. And you are gonna see in 2023 panic buying. You'll see panic buying in food, in uh, anything they can. People will be putting solar panels in their house trying to fix the price of electricity. They are going to panic and it is going to cause the cost of goods to go up. Like you just saw, the, uh, the government put out that warning about diesel shortages and there were diesel shortages. The reason why you knew that was because we have never had in the last 50 years such a low, uh, amount of diesel reserves, right? And then prices shot up. Why? Because uh, speculators on Wall Street bought up futures and you saw people like myself going down and filling up their tank going, you know what? And I got a couple extra uh, jerry cans. I'll fill those up as well. Why not? Because I knew the price would go up and it did. Anyone that tells you there's not, there wasn't a shortage is absolutely clueless on what happens. A shortage doesn't mean you go down to the gas station and it's not there. I know that sounds crazy, but that's really how the world works. All right, somebody doesn't know how to use their car alarm <laughs> or they're messing with a ninja. Now think about this. This is what something else that Bullard said, to attain a sufficiently restrictive level. And that's a restrictive level to where, I want you to understand what a restrictive level means. That means we push the interest rates up so high that we're now restricting you from doing business as usual. That it has gotten so expensive to go and flip homes or to buy a car that you aren't going to do it, you're going to stop and thus force deflation in that sector, all right? That means they want to crash these sectors. And if you think for a second that the Federal Reserve's got their heads so screwed on tight and they're super smart that they could sit there and just cause a soft landing, that ain't gonna happen. And you know the proof of that? 
because their mandate was to keep inflation at 2%, and they had to keep doing things to bump it up to 2%. And when it saw 2%, inflation went, uh-uh, watch this, and took off. They lost control, just like they're losing control right now and is going to crash the downside. But they go, hey, we got a lot of money. As a matter of fact, we got all their pension money. Let's buy up all the homes and rent it back to them because we're going to make them slaves. That's literally the plan. He says, uh, to attain sufficient restrictive, su sufficiently restrictive level, the policy rate will need to be increased further, he added in his presentation. Now, again, they're going to keep telling you all day long that the official Federal Reserve stance is anywhere between a Fed funds rate of 4% of and 5%. But I'm telling you right now, you're already seeing the Fed governors, and they always use them as the canaries in the coal mine. They're the ones out there warning you uh, of what they're about to do. It's a planned thing. And they're just coming out on these little tiny uh, news outlets and going, um, uh, we're probably going to have to raise them higher. Uh, it hasn't gone high enough. Uh, and everyone else is watching Jerome Powell going, I think so far we have achieved what we want to do. He's like, hey, have you guys told everyone the truth? How are you? Tell everyone the truth? All right, cool. Well, let, let them be fools if they don't believe it. The minions, the, the, the sergeants, the lieutenants of the army are out there telling you what they're planning next while the general's going, everything's good. Check it out. I got my coffee. Everything's good. We're good. All the while, you have no idea their true plans. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. Yeah, can I'm a ninja? is out.